Okay, hey guys, during this video, let's talk about ephedrine. Um, it's typically used for fat loss. I've used it on probably three or four different cycles. The stuff has its use. I still do keep it around, but I don't use it often. Um, what it's, yeah, again, it's used for fat loss, but more specifically, in my opinion, caffeine is, a more, caffeine is more effective for fat loss. What ephedrine is very, very powerful with is appetite suppression. In my opinion, and I've tried, I've tried, I mean, I've tried a lot of things to suppress appetite because I've, um, I grew up sort of on the chubbier side. I dropped a lot of weight, and I've always, and I've always sort of, sort of stayed consistent around like nine, let's say eight to thirteen percent body fat, which is naturally just below my baseline. So hunger has been an issue for me, and um, I'm always looking like, what can I do to just um, keep my hunger just at a normal level? And ephedrine, in my opinion, it is not only the most um, more effective than the rest of the nootropics drugs out there it's significantly more effective you can take this stuff you don't even want to think about food i remember there was a time just as an experiment i was eating like 500 calories a day and it was only possible with ephedrine not only was it possible but like you would expect to be killing yourself like 500 calories a day um you know for somebody whose maintenance is somewhere around, like in the low 2000s right so ephedrine very 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 powerful stuff um i would recommend that you dose it on the lower side or start at the lower side because some people do do actually do actually respond like um and you know have some you know just feel like it's very like it's a very strong substance you'll typically notice like irregular sort of um heart beating um the stuff is supposed to work synergistically with caffeine so if you dose it with caffeine um it's supposed to really really help improve with fat loss like there if you look at the ec stack they say to take 200 milligrams of caffeine with 24 milligrams of, of ephedrine and you can do that up to three times during the day i don't recommend that much because there's other effects like that could just cause so much of a cortisol increase that you'll like retain more water than normal you won't feel good so i wouldn't recommend you go that high unless you're like somebody who's really on the larger side and um is kind of like a non-responder to stimulants, but for me myself, like I can take 600 milligrams and 24 milligrams, I have 600 milligrams of caffeine and 72 milligrams of ephedrine in a day. I tried that for about three months. The fat loss, I mean, it was good, but it kind of plateaued like a month and a half through, and I was just retaining so much water and I couldn't figure out why. And then I had learned it's because of, you know, maybe possible adrenal just differences. I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't say adrenal fatigue, but just more water retention, cortisol raised, a uh, bunch of strange stuff going on that I didn't feel like myself. I would not do that again. So ephedrine comes in handy now if, if it's those days. I want to reduce my calories for whatever reason and um, we'll just kind of keep you going. Let's say you're fasting for you know longer than normal. Take some ephedrine, you're good to go. There's, if you read, if, um, if you read a lot into like different articles for fat loss and body composition, they found that ephedrine can actually prevent stubborn fat loss. So let's say if you're somebody who is dieting like for a show or something you're at if let's say if you're a male like you're 10 percent body fat you're trying to come down to five percent body fat there's um data that shows that taking ephedrine can actually prevent you from getting into the really lean stages um it's supposed to like basically when you're coming down from 10 percent body fat to five percent body fat it has a lot to do with just um creating an environment in your um with your fat stores so that they're just easier to get the fat cells out of them and ephedrine can prevent that happening where supplements like yohimbine specifically dosing yohimbine with caffeine can cause more blood flow to those really stubborn areas and help with fat loss so that's really interesting stuff um, overall ephedrine will make your cardio easier but i can't see why somebody would use it instead of just typically taking caffeine if you, you know if, if you're in a fat loss cycle you take some caffeine before your workout and then maybe a bit throughout the day just to help with, you know, keeping your metabolism up. It should do the trick. The only reason you'd kind of just put ephedrine here and there is if you really need to just to kill your appetite because um, caffeine doesn't, yeah, caffeine is not anywhere as significant in terms of appetite suppression as ephedrine is. So I hope that was helpful, guys. The stuff, the help of helpful, guys. The, the great thing about ephedrine is just so affordable. You just take it in very, very small pills. They're, they here, here we buy them in eight milligrams each, and um, yeah. Again, I don't. I mean, I rarely take it unless I need to cut my appetite. Here and there, I'll try it just out of kind of boredom. Like, hey, let's let's see what happens. Let's see if, if it helps with like productivity since it is a stimulant. But overall, yeah, I just no 
no withdrawals, which is cool, but I don't recommend taking this stuff in high dosages just because from my experience, unlike caffeine, it caused a lot more water retention than, than, um, yeah, than caffeine, which just typically means it's doing something with your cortisol, maybe messing with your adrenals a bit. They say that adrenal fatigue doesn't exist, but that is kind of debatable. So interesting stuff. Hope that was helpful, guys. As always, let me know if there's a nootropic drug supplement you'd like me to review in a future video, and I'll see you guys next time.